I think the biggest surprise for me when I woke up this morning was that I had a notification on, on my phone about a new announcement from the Remnant from the Ashes team. I bloody loved Remnant from the Ashes. I know it wasn't a game for everybody. I know the idea that it was shooty souls wasn't for some people, but I I put a lot of hours. <laughs> I put a lot of hours into Remnant from the Ashes. Um, a lot of people disliked the the randomly generated nature of the world and how certain things only showed up in very specific conditions and there was no way of telling whether you get that condition in a particular run of the game because it's got that kind of roguelike element to it. I'm really intrigued as to whether they are going to have changed any of this. It certainly looks like the route aren't gone, um, which is interesting considering the events at the end of the subjects was it 2029, 2069, 20, whatever it was, the last DLC for Remnant from the Ashes. I made a load of videos on Remnants. I really enjoyed that game. I'm really, I'm hoping that lightning can strike twice with this one. Let's see what they've got for us. Cool visuals, upgraded graphics, Ooh, give me some atmosphere. Nice. Upgraded hair. That was necessary. That's very Dark Souls, isn't it? And that's very Bloodborne. Look, but that's very blood. That's an evolution of one of the creatures that we've seen before. It's one of the mini bosses, but it's got arms now. Is this the same engine? That is so Bloodborne. So Bloodborne. Uh, the fire is a little bit low frame, right? Bows are a thing now? Oh. Oh, that hurt. hurts. Hello. New biomes. Is that an evolution of the labyrinth? New powerful figures to interact with. Your lips have been so shut. What the hell? They, they're tough. That's back on Earth. Yeah, they're, they're really going for the, the kind of spooky with one of these particular places that you can go to. And I am here for that. Hello. Boss fight. Big boss fight. Probably a world boss. That looks really good. Oh, ooh. Whoa, hello. Wish list now. Yes, yes, I will. Um, that looks awesome. That, that just looks awesome. It's got everything that, for me, made the first game great. It's got a variety of biomes with a a distinct kind of feel and tone for each one. We've got spooky mansions. We've got kind of gothic hell thrones. We've got buffering, which is, as we know, the most nightmarish of creatures. I shall keep on talking. The only issue that I had with Remnant was that as you got through and went through the story the later zones felt less polished not by much but they felt smaller they felt less developed than earth and rom wasn't it the second one the the desert planet why are we still buffering is my internet crapped out um i don't know um there's been a definite upgrade to texture quality in this uh you know, th this is kind of pulled straight out of Dark Souls 3, you could argue, with, again, upgraded textures for, for, from from soft-style titles. Um, but it's got that kind of feel to it. You know, this, it, this is more of a horror creature than some of the things that we saw in From the Ashes. 
you know and uh, okay this is a bit low res that fire texture in the background but obviously we're supposed to be focused on 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 this guy um but yeah the, these kind of poor oh they're elves or elf like um creatures with dogs in cages so uh, and kind of the kind of medieval gothic start not medieval the kind of gothic victorian style peasant outfits yeah it's it's very bloodborne realistically and I, I i don't think that's a bad comparison to make this looks like one of the the kind of beasts that you might have seen on the 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 kind of jungly fey area and you've got again the elven thing but you've also got this giant clock tower and moon i'm wondering I'm wondering if they're going to go with a world merging scenario for this. Realities bleeding into each other. Because, we, we, yeah, this looks like industrial London in the background with kind of gothic um, gargoyles and stuff. And the giant moon in the background isn't exactly subtle in terms of, oh, this is gothic horror. Um, but the creatures are straight out of in some cases the first game just taking a look at this guy he's got a, a serrated edge blade he's got he's got the backpack on he's got a different set of armor i think to anything that we saw in the first game um and yes i am spending a little bit more time analyzing this uh, trailer than i did for previous trailers just because i bloody loved the first game animations look smooth combat looks fluid this guy's just you know it Everything looks a little bit smoother, and the lighting has has undergone some some real work. Looks like we're going to have kind of quick timey style things. Maybe bows weren't in the first game, were they? Were they? Was that a bow? I can't remember. And then we get this, yo, know, giant elven goddess thing, and and this. I, my first impression was that this was an evolution of the labyrinth, but it doesn't look kind of technological enough for the labyrinth. But we do still have statues of these multi-limbed beings that we saw in the first game didn't we also there's a dog with us um so i'm assuming these are people that we pick up along the way but again i i like the kind of tone of this it's got uh, an evolution of the first game yeah typical figurehead people that's just disturbing don't know what that is more root creatures and that's i think one of the only shots we see of us actually on earth but it looks like we've got psychic powers more gothic stuff uh, slightly new targeting things for grenade launchers it looks like things that the first game did but more of bigger and better and I am here for that, and I hope it will it will be supported as as well as can we say as well as the first game when the first game did well and it did have what three d l c kind of just about um and it wasn't supposed to it wasn't originally supposed to have d l c at all but it it kind of did so well. The, the developers said, yeah, okay, we'll make you some DLC. And they did, and it was great, but it took a while to get to it. I'm wondering whether they will have smoothed out their plans for this one. That's the same hat from the first game, which I really liked. In fact, that might be the same duster from the first game. That's the same axe from the first game. It's the starter axe, actually. I'm looking forward to Remnant. It doesn't... Uh, Remnant 2. It doesn't give us a release date or anything. It is just a, hey... We're making a sequel to a game that you really liked. Looking forward to that. Onwards to, I think, my final trailer for the day, which is the Diablo 4 one. 